and they react a little different. You're not going to get the Golgi to react on a very short tendon. So when you strike into, say, the um, stomach 15 area, right in the middle of the um, pectoral muscle, all right, a lot of people think it's a nerve. It's an intercostal nerve. I used to think it was an intercostal nerve, but the intercostal nerves are actually on the inside of the ribs, and you can't access them, okay? There are peripheral nerves out here, but you're not going to reach it because it's too much muscle mass. There are very small sensory fibers, of course, because if you Feel heat, cold, rubbing, scratching, anything. You've got nerves in that area. But I don't even think it's the nerve because you can't really get the, the message to send that well. Okay? Now, the, the, the nerves are going to come down in, into the, the pectoral muscle this way. The fibers of the pectoral muscle run like my fingers are running. Okay? They don't run up and down like this. Now, if they run like this, when I strike stomach 15, when I strike into that okay, and get that reaction, okay, that's because I am compressing nerves, okay? There is a better way to hit this, though. If I hit with the muscle and get the nerve and the muscle spindle cells to react, okay, there is a little bit of a difference, okay, <laughs> with that. So now all your, your, your shots that we used to do on Summit 15, which are pretty good compared to just a punch in the chest, if you start activating the muscle spindle cells by going the way the fibers are set up, Okay, then you're going to really get a better result because you've got two things going for you instead of just the one. Now let me explain a muscle spindle cell just a little bit more. Okay, could you lift up your belt tab for a second? Yeah, belt tab. Okay. Now you see how this, these stripes, let's uncover the stripes. Okay, you see these stripes right here. This is what a muscle spindle cell actually looks like. You've got the muscle fiber, which is the black belt. Okay, and you've got the fibers, the, the spindle cell fibers that wrap around in a little coil on those fibers, okay? And when those things pull apart, it causes the reaction that makes the muscle contract. Now, as soon as I hit them here, the first time when I hit them straight down, sorry, okay? You see the, the legs weaken and the body weakens, okay? But the muscle didn't contract. When I hit this way, <laughs> The, the, the pectoral muscle though. actually contracts a little bit and pulls his arms in, and you can see that on the film as well. So everybody go and practice that going, I'm not going to do it again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hit straight down, get your reaction, and watch the body again. Okay. Then hit it going down at a 45, that you're going in the direction of the muscle fibers on the pectoral, and they're not straight across, they're more at an angle. Okay. Go in that direction, you're going to find you get a, a much better a yield. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> When you hit straight in, uh, I could feel the body. I mean, every, it hurt and went down in. But when you came across, I, I lost all functionality. My legs let go. I mean, it just, and the pain was like 3x of what it was. <laughs> it was just, I, mean, sure I, felt, I felt like I got shot. Yeah. 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 Cool. All right, that's a difference. Anyway, uh, that kata basai, where the hands come up and do this. Now, a lot of people interpreted that as coming straight down. But look at the actual kata move. The hands come inward. So instead of coming down now on stomach 15s as we were thinking, why not use that muscle spindle cell and do the kata actually correctly and come inward on these two? Okay? And that'll give you more, more yield. Okay? See? I didn't need to. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.